no way I was going to miss this. Alexander Usyk, the former undisputed cruiserweight champion and heavyweight champion of the world, fighting out of Ukraine. The Gypsy Kid. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds. So they stare into each other's eyes one final time. And there's the bell to start the round. Close the jab, but it doesn't score. No defense for that hook. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. Did you see the nerves on a fighter stepping into the ring, Tom? It can tell you so much about a fighter, and they're looking in the opposite corner. You've got one fight in the back of the ring. This is where they want to be. Nice idea, and that hook lands. Both men step back for just a moment. <laughs> Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. Been lucky to miss with that jab. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. <laughs> Instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You go find to the counter puncher, you've got a double shot. Make them react from that, then react them. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punching, they'll push you. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Wow, you know what? I've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, though, ring away. You walk back to the corner like... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Swing and a miss with the hook. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. close fight here in this round. Any counterfighter believes in the anything you can do, I can do better. They'll let you throw a punch first, and they'll answer you, and usually hit you harder. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter punch is for that moment. are we going to see a jab from these two? These two were made for each other. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two You know the scorecard. Alexander Usyk in that last round. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next? 
They ring the bell, and here we go. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Oh, my muscles. It is not. Oh, my. The Ukrainian has been rattled. And apparently no rest for the weary. Thought about taking a breath, but instead, he's in there throwing bombs again. What recovery skills they are. What a shit it was. Complete. I thought there's no way to the but look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed. Back on it. That can never happen. They've got a big reach advantage here. Let's see if they can take advantage. I've done that before. Use your reach. Use your speed. Frustrate your opponent. Make them make a mistake. And he scores with the counter. So far, both of these fighters have had their moments. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above me. And so I've got to respect both of them more than nothing. Not out of the way, that right hook. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Despite what the judges scorecard read, they're all the losers in this one. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Wow, it's like two different leagues. And that'll do it for the minute break as we get set to get back in the action. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. When you're fighting a massive heavyweight like this, you can't go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You gotta stick and move and use angles. There's an old saying, a good big will always be a good little one. He's putting the pedal to the metal, but has to be careful that he doesn't run out of gas. That hook was off target. Big Ukrainian in big trouble. A true champion knows how to get out of trouble after they get into trouble, and that's what he's done right there. It's been a tough round so far. It's been a tough, tough round. What they do? What the time when they get the corner? How are they going to get through this? I like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want that heavy fist. You can see the heavy breathing, but that's not slowing him down. Tyson Fury just got buzzed. His eyes don't look good. Body language is bad. He could go down. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. The 
let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. And that'll do it for the time between rounds as we get set to get back in the action. This is with that uppercut. But when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? Usyk might go down here. What an upset. I don't believe what we're seeing here. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. You've never seen Alexander Usyk hurt like this before. And right back into the fray. Now they've got to wait top. They've got to get on the back foot. Clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. A very competitive round here so far. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. I'd like to see more damage. Swing and a miss with that hook. That hook was thrown with some bad intentions. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Both these fighters, I'm sure, realize how close this fight is. Every second of every round going forward is going to matter. I'm completely lost. This can go one way or the other. One shot will change the destiny of this fight. Time winding down as we get set to jump back in the action. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. Well, just a couple of rounds left, Johnny. What's your assessment so far? Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get caught to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. Not a lot of punch out, but I thought there would be uh, some more action here. with that right hook. And down goes Fury!
Need to pick things up here in the second half of the round. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your regal's hurt, your teeth hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and think, right, I'm back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. He's up, but for how long? Look at him. On the heels. But look at him. There's nothing there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. It just takes one more clear shot. A clean one. He's out of there. Both men step back for just a moment. They're happy this round's coming to an end. Ten seconds left. Let's talk about Fury in that last round. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. I love the... And there's the bell to start the round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything. that will to win and refusal to stay down as this fight continues. Hard, he's up. I, I, I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up from the stool again? That was a shot. They hit like heavyweights, but they move like middleweights. Truly elite level stuff here. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. We need to turn this around halfway through. Not the best start, but you know what? The corner now is down for them doing their job. Get through the round, regroup, session up, boom. Different tactics. Takes a step back, recalibrates himself, and goes right after him again. What caught sleeping on the job? What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. <laughs> Let's talk about Fury in that last round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. Lucky that hook didn't score. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, it can be intimidating. It just depends on how confident you are in the fight. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what? The big Ukrainian. And big. The cut doesn't look that bad, but they're going to take a look at it anyway. So the referee took a look and decides, let's keep going.
appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Oh, and Tyson Fury just got rocked. This could be it. Tyson Fury, one of the great heavyweight champions. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. So a majority decision, and you've got to wonder if we're going to see a rematch down the line. It's been a good one. Good entertainment. Everybody benefit. Those fighters there will learn so much from this fight. The fans cannot argue with that decision. I'm sure you won't, Todd, because I'm not. I'm happy with what I've just seen.